everyone welcome back once again to my youtube class guys i am manjit rawat your online instructor this is another session of azure administrator and in this session i am going to guide you about the concept of azure auto scaling service as we discussed in previous class whenever we establish vmss over azure portal we are able to find one option called auto scaling but let me explain you the auto scaling is categorized in two different part one is vertical scaling and another is horizontal scaling as a administrator it's our responsibility we should know about the gap between vertical scaling and horizontal scaling so in this class i'll try to give you complete information about the concept of vertical and horizontal scaling as well as i'll help you how we can configure vertical scaling with our virtual machine or horizontal scaling with our vms so this is our agenda for this particular session let's move ourselves to azure portal and discuss about the procedure but before that if you are new on my youtube channel if you are watching my video first time please do subscribe teach me cloud so let's move ourselves to desktop screen and try to understand about the concept means the vertical part of vertical and horizontal scaling and after that we'll discuss about procedure how we can implement vertical and horizontal scaling in virtual machine right now we are on page of our desktop screen let me explain you about the concept of uh, auto scaling in azure portal as we discussed before the auto scaling is categorized in two different part one is vertical scaling and another is horizontal scaling first of all let me explain you about the meaning of auto scaling and after that we'll move ourselves to azure portal and give you the proper procedure to set up vertical scaling and horizontal scaling so before that you should know about the actual meaning of auto scaling so you can say that the meaning of auto scaling the meaning of scale is scale in the sense just measure the capacity of your resources it may be a virtual machine for example you establish one virtual machine with capacity of 8 gig of ram 2 core of processor and up to 500 gig of hard drive with windows server 2012 you are planning to establish your website using iis services so as you know that with the help of auto scaling we are able to measure the usage of our resources like cpu usage and ram usage if your cpu is high more than 75% or 80% you can set and create another virtual machine in same cluster second if you want to increase the capacity of your existing virtual machine like you want to increase the ram size currently you are using 8 gig of ram but you want to make it 16 gig or 20 gig or 24 gig of ram so you can do that means with the help of auto scaling you can perform the auto task to manage the capacity of your resources especially in virtual machine let me explain you about the meaning of vertical scaling first so in case of vertical scaling for example uh, you purchase one virtual machine like this with capacity of 4 gig of ram and up to 2 core of processor and up to 200 gig of hdd means hard disk drive this is the configuration of your virtual machine but after some days after some uh days or some week you feel like the configuration of this particular virtual machine is not e enough to run your application it's not enough to run your website means your website goes down or maybe very slow users or customer unable to access your application due to reason of low hardware which is available in our web server so whenever you increase the capacity of your existing configuration the capacity of your existing ram or processor which is considered as a vertical scaling means this is the actual configuration now you want to increase the ram you want to make it 8 gig of ram and also you want to make it 4 core of processor 
means you are not purchasing another virtual machine you are not creating another virtual machine and add to the cluster you are making a changes with existing hardware you are making a changes with the configuration of your existing virtual machine so the the step that you are that, that you are doing to increase the capacity of ram or cpu which is considered as a vertical scaling as it is if we talk about horizontal scaling the meaning of horizontal the horizontal scaling as per the name suggest basically in this case it will create a one cluster in the cluster we are able to create multiple virtual machine like you started with three virtual machine right and everything is okay your website is running properly your application is running properly our users are able to access our resources properly but unfortunately the combination of entire virtual machine the cpu goes more than 80 percent the cpu ram goes more than 80 percent the consumption of ram and cpu is more than 80 percent in case of horizontal scaling it will add one more virtual machine in the cluster with same configuration means in case of horizontal scaling uh, as you horizontal scaling can add one more virtual machine with same configuration and same settings but in case of vertical scaling it's our responsibility to reconfigure the virtual machine not reconfigure to uh, you can say that add more ram or more cpu cores in existing vm when you perform when you make any changes with the existing virtual machine consider as a vertical scaling whenever we create a cluster and add new virtual machine with same configuration which is considered as a horizontal scaling guys this is the actual concept of vertical and horizontal scaling i hope you all of you understand about the meaning of both i'll give you the another video related to the lab and describe about the actual step that can help us to configure horizontal and vertical scaling for now i hope you all of you understand about the meaning let's connect in another class and discuss more about the lab of vertical and horizontal scaling thank you guys take care and bye bye do subscribe teach me cloud your own youtube channel